Husband tip number 78. Oh, I love you. Hmm. Ooh. I love you too. Work on your response time. It doesn't get any better than this. That is so sad in so many ways. Joe, why aren't you getting dressed? Did you forget what night this is? This night is going down in history. The Gophers are finally making a comeback, honey. They're about to trounce the Bull Weevils. But tonight was supposed to be our date night. You and me, alone together, rekindling the glow, remember? Yeah, that too. Unless, of course, you'd rather stay here on the couch watching the prairie dogs. Gophers. If you like, I could bring down a pillow and a blanket, and you could spend the whole night here. Uh, honey, not to worry. I have it all worked out. There are two minutes left in the game. As soon as it's over, we'll go to Luigi's, where I have already made reservations. Hmm. We'll spend the whole evening alone talking about what we think and what we feel about all the things that really matter to us. Um, I don't need to change, right? No, not if you don't mind sitting in a booster seat. Oh, 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 you thought I meant Luigi's the fine Italian restaurant. No, 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 I meant Luigi's genuine Philly cheese steak shack down by the bus station. Ha, ha, ha. Now, could you look after Nicholas while I make myself beautiful? Well, I am watching the game. Joe! Since you put it that way, I'd love to. <sighs> Throw the inbounds pass. Joe, I asked you to do one simple thing. What? I'll get ready as soon as the game's over. There's only two minutes left. You said that two minutes ago. I was approximating. Anyway, I was talking about Nicholas. Oh, no! How could he miss that pass? Who? Nicholas, <laughs> your son. You're watching sports. Here, Bond. You want to watch the big game with Daddy? Cheerleaders? You you like those cheerleaders? Add a boy. Nicholas, wink pom poms, do cartwheels. <laughs> At this rate, my son will never make the team. I don't know. His splits show a lot of promise. I'm going on a date. Mom, can I go to cheerleader camp? You've already asked me if you can go to cheerleader camp. Yeah, but you said no, so I thought I'd try again. Told you she'd say no. Can I go to the Saucy Boys concert? Where is the concert? Hawaii. No, you cannot. And besides, if I just said no to Tracy, what makes you think I'll say yes to you? Because I'm your favorite. And what on earth gives you that idea? I'm not bragging. Look what I'm up against. Bob, get off that. Hmm. Wasn't my color anyway. <laughs> Don't use me to insult your sister. That's all right, Mom. I don't mind. Oh, if you need me, I'll be in my room, puking in Zelda's shoes. Mom, can I have new shoes? Seriously, can I ask you a question? What did you want to ask? I just wanted to know how you met Dad. Why? Just curious. And there's this thousand-word essay due tomorrow. Tomorrow? I need to get the last-minute adrenaline rush to get my creative juices flowing. That's how Daddy does it. Your father has some good qualities you might consider emulating. You mean the way he can burp the entire alphabet in one breath? Besides that. Okay, anyway, a friend of a friend was hosting a singles dance to raise money for a worthy cause. Do you want to write this down? You didn't videotape it? No. Then I guess I'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. 
I was there with my friend, Lauren. This is a pit. Why do I come to these things? To, like, support a worthy cause. And to meet the guy who'll take you away from these things? Totally. Oh, my God. Scope out that killer dude over there. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm in pain. Joe, is it your back? Are you okay? Oh, I'm okay. It's that hotshot number 85 that's not okay. Can you believe they pay this guy's full tuition, buy him a Porsche, and he misses a layup? May I ask you why you aren't dressed yet? My clothes are right here. It takes me a minute and a half to get dressed. And there's a timeout on the floor with two minutes and eight seconds left. Okay, there were two minutes left six minutes ago. How can there still be two minutes left? Because they called a bunch of timeouts. Don't worry, honey. The game will be over soon. I'll get dressed, and we'll have a lovely, intimate dinner together away from our beloved and delightful children. Dad, can I go to cheerleader camp? Sure. Joe, I just told Tracy no. Well, how was I supposed to know that? That's why we have a date night, so we can catch up on things like this. You know, talk. We're talking now, aren't we? Oh, nice one. Go for it, gophers. I'd call this talking. I meant face to face, instead of your face to the TV and my face to the back of your head. We haven't had a real conversation in six days, one hour, and two minutes. So it's just bad timing. You got that right. I mean, if Tracy'd asked me after we came back from dinner instead of before, I would have known what to say. Okay, okay. Just check with me before you attempt any actual parenting. Well, don't put it all on me. What about Tracy? You know better than to ask me something when your mother's already said no. I thought you might say yes, and I was right. Kids can spot when their parents aren't on the same page. They know how to divide and conquer, especially when their parents aren't communicating. I'm happy. What Joe means by that is he's happy. I'm happy too. Now what Liz means by that is there's a serious lack of communication in your marriage. And Liz is concerned that if not dealt with, you and she will continue to drift apart and lead parallel yet separate lives until you die. There. Was that so hard to understand? Oh, come on, honey. The Tracy thing was just a simple mistake, an aberration. It won't happen again, promise. Oh, would you look at that? Dad, can I go to the Saucy Boys concert? Sure. Yay! <gasps> Why do I even bother to try? Honey, honey, don't... Wait a minute. Honey! Oh, baby, did you see that play? Oh, no! No! I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Do you know what you're apologizing for? No, but I found that saying I'm sorry early and often seems to help my position. Well, if you can't figure it out yourself, I'm certainly not going to spell it out for you. Well, someone had to break the tension around here. Honey, give me a second here. Okay, got it. I shouldn't have answered Tracy without checking with you first, and I certainly shouldn't have made the same mistake a minute later. Sometimes these things take me a, a while. Wow, behind the back, between the legs, bounce pass. Amazing. Go watch the game. No, this is more important. That's okay, it can wait for two minutes. If it really is two minutes. Less than two minutes, honey. You know, barring any more timeouts. What? Uh, nothing. Mom, I've been thinking about it, and I was wrong to ask Daddy about cheerleader camp. Oh, that's wonderful, Cookie. It's very mature of you. So as a reward for being so mature, can I go to cheerleader camp? But not mature enough. Oh. <sighs> what did I miss? They make a van with a television in it. Will you buy it? No. Don't you have to check with Mom before you answer? No. I'm, um, well, I mean, um... No. Dad, tell me about the first time you and Mom met. When's the assignment due? Tomorrow. How's the adrenaline rush? I haven't blinked in an hour. Okay, you're ready. 
It was at a singles dance for a worthy cause. I was looking way cool, and my dance moves were bad. I looked across the room and saw this gorgeous babe giving me the eyes, so I went over to speak to her. Would you like to dance? Um, uh, sure, why not? I was such a smooth dancer, everybody was staring at us. We had a great time, and your mom called me the next day. She pretended to want the phone number of some guy standing next to me, but I knew that was just an excuse to invite me over to her place for some cream sherry. That's it? You guys didn't join a commune or grow organic beets? No, that was the late 60s. We were your age. No free love? Nope. The double-digit inflation of the late 70s took care of that. Terrific. You realize, of course, that you've given me nothing to work with here. We did say groovy a lot, though. Is it the money? Because I'll pay you back when I'm older. Cheerleading is a sexist pseudo-sport that perpetuates the role of women as irrelevant spectators on the sidelines of life. It's my hips, isn't it? You think my hips look too fat in the skirt. You're 10. You don't have any hips. One minute and 51 seconds remain. Tie score. Watkins dribbles up the right side, drives to the hoop, switching hands in the air, and... And it's another breathtaking performance from Willard College in defense of their national title. What happened? Nicholas, no. Nicholas loved cheerleading. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, baby, that may have been the greatest play in the history of basketball. We're tied at 97. Joe, I, I think Tracy may be having some problems with her self-esteem. Uh, good. I mean, good. We'll, we'll have something else to talk about at dinner. Honey, is there any way you can look after Nicholas just till the game's over? The deal was you would look after him. I know, but I'm trying to watch the end of the game here. I guess the good news is that it's finally ending. Should be over any second, right? Mm, yeah. Huh. Mom, every time the ball's not in play, they stop the clock. That's why it can take hours to finish the game. Hours? Luigi's close is at 10. That was really more than she needed to know. Honey, can you get that? Ma, black looks good on you. It's a wetsuit. I read somewhere that germs can't penetrate rubber. That's why dolphins never get sick. Oh, look how dressed up you are. You must be taking my daughter to that fancy hamburger place. The one with the slide. Gaga, what can you tell me about my mom and dad dating? I remember how happy I was for you, Mother. She finally found someone who would take a second look at her. Are you gonna see what's-his-name again? Yes, and it's Joe. Such a nice boy. I'm gonna miss him when you two break up. We're not breaking up, Ma. In fact, I, I think he's going to ask me to marry him. It'll never last. Maybe I'll just make something up. Gaga, you don't see anything wrong with cheerleader camp, do you? Who doesn't like cheerleading? I think it's a wonderful idea. You want to go? The only place she's going is her room. Why? I didn't ask if I could go to camp. I just asked if Gaga saw anything wrong in going. She's right. Mom, it's not your place to interfere. Tracy, go to your room. Hey. Why? It's none of your business why. Tracy, your room now. Mom, let me raise my own daughter. Please. With the wonderful job you're doing, why would I interfere? Hey. There are only 58.9 seconds left, and I'd like to see them. Could you guys do this in another room? We could, but we won't. There, there. Don't you cry. 16 more years, and you can move away from that mean man. Then when you're older, you can move back in with him forever. Oh. We could have avoided all this if you'd been ready to go when my mother got here. I had everything planned out with plenty of time for me to watch the Gophers game and still make our dinner reservation. It's not my fault that some seven-foot-tall whiz kid with an overactive thyroid can't hit an open 12-footer! <laughs> Let's not waste any time, Liz. Show the people how the attentionizer works. Thanks, Tiffany. Let's bring out our test subject now, shall we? Do you like sports, sir? Yeah, except figure skating. Now, I'm going to turn this television to a sports network and then try to talk to you. I accidentally wrecked your car. I'm having an affair with your brother. And I decided to stop shaving. Now let's try it with the attentionizer. Do you want to go out to dinner later? 
Sure. Dinner sounds great. Um, how was your day? Huh? Can't hit an open 12-footer. Come on. Darn right you should take a 20-second timeout. Get someone in there who can shoot. Um, I'm no psychology major, honey, but it seems to me that something is making you feel, I don't know, insecure. Are you subconsciously testing to see if I love a basketball game more than you? Because if that's the case, it's no contest. Hmm. Insecure. I have to think about that. You, you may have something there. Wow. I tell you, if you throw enough stuff against the wall, some of it is bound to stick. Why do these people talk to me? I don't talk to them. He's open in the corner! Pass it! Pass it! The happiest day of my life was when I got Dan those headphones. Yeah, they ought to say, in sickness and health, in basketball season. And baseball season. And football season. And bass fishing season. Dan goes, bass fishing? Oh, no. No, no. He watches it. I, I guess I'm lucky. The thing you have to remember is Joe's a man. They're simple creatures, but they can be wonderful companions as long as you don't have unrealistic expectations. How will I know that my expectations are realistic? When you don't have any. I can't believe he didn't pass it. Well, folks, the Gophers' dreams of championship glory could be fleeting, They'll need a Joe, to I need to know how much longer that game is going to last. Give me that in actual normal human time, not obsessed sports fan time. And don't approximate. Just Joe, Joe. Johnson inbounds the ball to Stapleton, and Carter steps in front and steals the ball for the Gophers. Oh, baby, he really picked his pocket on that play. The home team fans are... All right, children, before we have stories, it's hygiene spot check time. Cup. Remember, Nicholas, no splashing. Are you still here? I thought you were going out to a fancy dinner someplace that your husband couldn't afford on just his paycheck. So did I. I can't believe I'm still waiting for this stupid basketball game to end. A person could have a heart attack in front of that man. All he'd do would be to ask you not to block the screen as you fell. Ma. It's not too late to divorce him and marry a cardiologist. Mom? Does this have to do with cheerleading? A little bit. Candy, tube tops, temporary tattoos, Alice in sleepover, boys, boys! Ah, here it is, cheerleader camp. Mom! I understand what you were saying about cheerleader camp, but, but just let me say one thing. Okay. Please! No! Thanks for the support. Not? What? He was about to take a jump shot when he had a man open under the basket. I thought you were talking about cheerleader camp. Well, I wasn't, but now that you bring it up, I'm in favor of sending Tracy anywhere she wants to go. Provided it's not a cult or, you know, well, that that's pretty much my only condition, actually. He's right. Huh? You're still an idiot. He just happened to be right this time. I don't think a mother should prevent her daughter from pursuing her dream. And what if her dream is to go to the state baton twirling championships, but at the last minute she can't because a deer was spotted nearby? Deer carry ticks. I was protecting you from Lyme disease. You mean I can't go to camp because of something Gaga did to you a hundred years ago? You can't blame your whole life on me. Your dead-end job, your lousy marriage. There, there's nothing wrong with my job. Your job? Why didn't you defend your marriage? I'm not sure. We talked about this, remember? Insecurity? I said I would think about it, and I thought about it. I am justifiably angry. I am not insecure. Does this sound insecure? Let's go, children. You don't need to listen to yelling. I never yelled at your grandfather or your mother when she was a child. I did it the old-fashioned way, with psychological torture. Will you teach us how, Gaga? When you're older. <laughs> Oh, come on. Honey, that was funny. Look, there are only 3.4 seconds left in the game. As soon as it's over, we'll go to Luigi's and talk about everything over some pasta and a good bottle of wine. Let me just unmute the TV. Go ahead, punk. Do you feel lucky? I forgot one more question. 
When did you first realize you were in love with Dad? I remember my head ached, my tummy hurt, and I couldn't keep anything down. And that's how you knew you were in love? No, that's how I knew I had the flu. Ma, I'm sick! I can't just snap out of it! Well, don't expect me to stay home and baby you. I'm being hospitalized for the removal of my belly button lint. Your father had tickets for the playoffs. Joe, what about the game? Oh, forget the game. My little pumpkin is more important than any game. Well, I know you don't believe it right now, honey, but I still feel that way. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice kiss, mister. Unmute the game. You just bought yourself four seconds no matter how long it takes. That was amazing. With .001 seconds on the clock, Watkins throws up a Hail Mary from 60 feet and ties the game, sending us into overtime. We've got five more exciting minutes coming up, so stay tuned. Get your coat. a table where my husband can see the TV? Certainly, signore. Are you sure you want to do that? Hey, the game will be over in two minutes. 